In this video, we're going to walk through how to demote a domain controller. I'm also going to show you how to manually remove a domain controller. Um, you would only use that option if the domain controller is dead or you can't access it. Um, Microsoft's preferred method is to use the uh, demote it through the server manager wizard and only forcefully manually remove it um, if, if that's your only option. So I've got three domain controllers and I'm going to remove this this one right here, SRV-2016. A um, couple things I want to point out is starting with server 2008, the metadata is cleaned up automatically. Um, if you Google search, you come across articles on removing domain controllers, the majority of them will mention to use a uh, command line to clean up the metadata. And again, you don't need to do that unless your servers are um, 2003 and earlier. Um, another uh, thing to do is to check your FSMO roles. Um, these will be moved automatically, but I like to check them. Um, so you could open up a command prompt and run the command net dom query FSMO. So this is the FSMO roles on this server. And on this server, uh, just this role is running on this domain controller that I'm going to remove. So once it's removed during the process, it'll automatically remove this role and then we'll come back and check it. So to remove a domain controller, we need to open up server manager and click on manage and then remove roles and features. Click next and then select the server that you want to demote. And I'm going to select my server right here. Click Next. And then we're going to remove the Active Directory Domain Services role. So uncheck that. It's going to pop up and ask if you want to remove uh, the management tools. So like your Active Directory users and computers, sites and services, these management tools. Um, if, you, if you have no plans to reuse this <coughs> server or promote it back to a domain controller, then you can remove these. I'm going to remove them because I don't plan on using the server. So I'll leave that check to remove the management tools. Click remove features. And it's going to pop up um, and ask you, well, it's not going to ask you, but it's going to tell you uh, that these features can't be removed because it's a domain controller. So we need to select this demote this domain controller link here. And then it's going to ask you to supply credentials. I'm already logged in with a domain administrator account, so I've got uh, the correct permissions. But if you need to change the account, you can just click the change button. Um, do not select this force to remove this domain controller. This is only for if it's the last domain controller in the domain. If you select it, it'll give you a warning. Um, I've got multiple domain controllers. I'm not removing my last domain controller, so I do not want that selected. Click Next. It's going to give you a warning that there's additional roles on the server. Um, you want to make sure that your clients are not pointing to the domain controller that you're going to demote. Uh, make sure they're pointing to another DNS server, because you'll obviously will have some major issues on your client computers resolving domain names. So we're good here. Proceed with re removal. Um, you, you'll most likely want to uncheck this. It's, it's you most likely won't have DNS delegation for your for your domain, so you can uncheck that. But if you're but if you're certain you do, I mean, keep that checked. But in most instances, you will not have DNS delegation. And now it's asking for um, a new administrator password. So when you log into a domain controller, you're logging in to it with a domain account. There is no local accounts. But when we demote this, it's going to revert back to a local account. So that's what this is. It's an administrator password for the local account. Click Next. This is just a review page. Um, there is this view script here. 
so it does create a PowerShell script based off the steps that we just went through. Um, so if you had additional domain controllers you wanted to remove, you could use this script to automate it and speed up the process. So we're going to click the moat. So it's going to do its stuff in the background and it's going to reboot. Once it reboots, it'll just be a member server. It'll no longer be a domain controller. So the process is done. You can see where it successfully domain demoted the domain controller. Now it's going to reboot. And I'm going to need to log into since I've removed all the management tools. I'm going to connect to another domain controller here. So we can pull up the management tools. So if I hit refresh here, you can see that server is no longer in the domain controllers folder. And then come back to the command line and we'll verify that those FSMO rules were automatically moved. And they were. So this one was on that SRV-2016 server and you can see it automatically moved it. There was there was no additional steps we had to take. It just did it automatically. So that, that's it for removing the domain controller. There is one additional step. Um, for whatever reason, it doesn't remove the server from sites and services. Uh, it may be left in there in case you wanted to promote it back to a domain controller. I'm not sure, but um, if you don't plan on using the server, you'll want to come into sites and services. And you can just right click and delete. And that, that's it for the first option. Again, this is Microsoft's preferred option is to go through that um, server manager wizard. Um, that, that's if you got access to the server. So if you don't have access to the server, um, I'm going to show you those steps. So, okay, so now I'm going to show you the second option for removing a domain controller. Um, so, so this option I'm going to pretend that my server here is is dead I can't access it so we have to manually remove it um, and, and again I'm going to show you that it's going to automatically remove the FSMO roles um, so I've got this RID pool manager on that server so to manually remove it it's super simple all you got to do is right click go to your domain controller right click your server click delete and I'm on and I'm on a second domain controller. I'm not on this server. I'm uh, connected to my DC1. And it's going to ask you, are you sure? It's going to pop up and tell you this is a domain controller. And I want to delete. And it's going to tell you, um, you're attempting to delete domain controller without running the removal wizard. And it's going to tell you to properly remove it. You should run the wizard that we just did in uh, the first part of this video. That was option one. So it's just telling you it it wants you to do it that way. But again, we're pretending the server is dead. So yes, we want to delete it anyway. It's going to tell you it's a global catalog server. Yes, we want to continue. And then if it's got um, the FISMO rules on it, it's going to pop up and tell you that. That's going to be moved. So it's going to automatically move those rules for us. Click OK. And that's it. Um, you'll have to go into sites and services just like in option one. So it'll still be listed there, but just right click and delete it. So e even though Microsoft's preferred method is to go through the wizard, manually removing it seems much easier. I don't know if the, the wizard option does more in the background. I don't know. They, they both seem to clean up the metadata. They both transfer the FISMO roles, um, but again, it's Microsoft's preferred method is to use a wizard. So if you have access to the server, um, use that method. So that's it for this video. I showed you two options for removing domain controllers. Um, in 
Again, if you're using 2008 and above servers, you don't need to use the command line to clean up metadata. It's all done automatically for you. Um, if you go to my website, I've got a, an article on this that walks through all the steps and it's got a couple of links to some references um, of some Microsoft documents that talk about the automatic clean up of the metadata. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel um, and check out my website, ActiveDirectoryPro.com, for more um, Active Directory tutorials, tips, and guides. Thanks for watching.